I'm Biresh Banerjee. Welcome to DW News Asia. Indonesia is moving ahead with plans to relocate its capital city from Jakarta to East Kalimantan by 2024. Some parts of the government are expected to move this year itself. One of the biggest reasons for the move is the fact that Jakarta is literally sinking. Groundwater reserves are depleting due to overuse and sea levels are rising at the same time. Conditions that make everyday life a struggle for many. It's an almost daily ritual for people in Muara Anke. Fresh water is being delivered. This Jakarta suburb is right next to the coastline and like the rest of Indonesia's capital, is sinking at an alarming rate, allowing seawater to pollute much of the groundwater. Most residents use groundwater for washing and bathing. But it makes your body itchy. And the water is also a bit greasy. So those who can afford it also buy fresh water to take a second shower after using the groundwater. Only 60% of the capital is connected to a pipe water system. The rest have to pump water from private wells. But with no access to clean groundwater in this suburb, residents like Muslimin depend on water tanks for drinking water and water pump from wells for everything else. But by pumping groundwater, he, like millions of other residents, is actually contributing to the sinking process. The main cause of land subsidence is the massive groundwater extraction happening around Jakarta. In coastal areas, rising sea levels also contribute to the subsidence. In addition, abrasion and seawater intrusion create a more unstable land structure. Jakarta's provincial government has said it intends to provide a pipe water system for all by 2030. This would help areas that already struggle with salt water, but crucially, it could also halt the sinking process. Time is of the essence. While the government may soon start moving its capital to the island of Borneo, most of Jakarta's 11 million residents will remain but the transition won't come cheaply. It's all about the money. Uh, we have to have the funding, and then we have to develop it. Developing a system, a pipe system, where you have to bury it underground in a city that's already built like Jakarta, that's also a different problem altogether. The residents of Muara Anke hope they soon will also be connected. With the saltwater intrusion, they have lost one battle but they are determined not to lose the next. Seawater levels may continue to rise, but Jakarta's rapid sinking, the residents say, needs to be stopped. And joining me now for more context is Lenga Pradipta, a PhD researcher at the Institute of Asian Studies at University Brunei Darussalam. And she has looked at the issue of a subsidence that is facing Jakarta currently. Ms. Pradipta, the government in Jakarta is investing in building a water pipe network, while at the same time going ahead with construction to build a new capital. Both these act actions seem contradictory, don't they? Okay, um, thank you for the introductions. Actually, yeah, since two years ago, Jakarta's government has tried to build a new pipeline to the community. So they have aimed to distribute it, the fresh water to community. Because we know in Jakarta, most community tend to get the water from the Artesian well, which is very conventional. Um, it happens due to the condition of Jakarta because we don't have the reservoir. So all community, especially the poor one, needs to get the water with a very cheapest way and a very uh, fastest way. Right. So people assume that as the, you know, the very practical way uh, without having high costs. But then Jakarta's government tried to alter that plan by the community. 
because you mentioned about the contrast between the Jakarta's government trying to build a new pipeline to give the fresh water to the community, but at the same time, also relocating the capital into Kalimantan, that's a very, you know, um, interesting uh, fact. So, Indonesian government actually have a long-term plan about relocating capital. It happened right. since 1990s, actually. So, so just so like, what does this mean? I'm just trying to understand what the thinking here is. Does the government think it will actually be able to save Jakarta by building this pipe network? Yeah. So Indonesian government want to relocate the capital, but it doesn't mean they neglected Jakarta, because Jakarta is still the center of the business and um, trading for Indonesia. So. Even though Indonesian government wants to relocate to Kalimantan as the new capital, but still they really want to make Jakarta as the business center, like a New York maybe, if we want to compare to America, even though it's not um, apple to apple. But yeah, their dream is to still catch up with Jakarta and, and relocating new capital, new government central into the Kalimantan. So yeah, maybe for some peoples uh, outside Indonesia, this could be like a contradictive plan by Indonesian government. Right. So in the long term, do you think that the city can actually be saved from sinking given this depletion of the groundwater level and the fact that at least in some parts of Jakarta, some parts of Jakarta are lower than actual current sea level and the sea level is rising. Is it, uh, how realistic is it that Jakarta will be saved from sinking in the long term? Okay, um, so in my institution, um, so previously I worked for the Indonesian Government Research Center before uh, I stay in Brunei. So we've conducted some research related to the land subsidence in Jakarta. To be honest, in Jakarta, especially in the North Jakarta, the land, subs the land subsidence is getting uh, decreased through the years. If you read the newest publications um, by many urban scholars, every year the 40% of land subsidence is happening in Jakarta. If you ask me, well, how could you see this as a promising one? How could we save Jakarta? Uh, Jakarta is very complicated area because everything's there. Um, we also have. Um, uh, cap uh, previous capital there, and also suburban, which is very dense with the population. But right. if government tried to build new pipeline and then uh, ban the using ban the usage of the uh, soil well, I think we can save Jakarta. But of course, it needs time. It's not an instant way. But giving such awareness to community is very important in Jakarta. So you are certain that Jakarta will ultimately not have to be abandoned and Indonesia will be able to have another capital in Kalimantan. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So even though capital will relocate to Kalimantan, Jakarta will not be abandoned because Jakarta is the center for the business and trading for Indonesian country. Lenga Pradipta, we'll have to leave it there for the time being. But thank you so much for putting all of that into perspective and for all your context. Thanks so much. You're welcome.